Paul Wesley to kick off into the All Wesley end. Lansdowne gather. To Carney. Carney runs into trouble. He Wesley retain. Boiler now. Telford now working around. Boydy steps to the outside. Again, it's going to be in the Wesley penalty for a high tackle. And that one's on target for Halsey, right onto the dance floor. Which we'll see Old Wesley take a 3 0 lead. Telford with the put in. This time it's Boyle at the tail. Great line by Hall. He has support if he needs it. Oh, slight tackle off the ball there. Wesley go hunting again. But they are back for the kick now. Lands on giving Wesley the tail. Wesley taking it. Boyle goes up. It's a great take. Carney now with the carry. Wesley playing with advantage here. Out to Boyle. Boyle gives the pass. Balance is in. Great set of play with the advantage by Old Wesley. And Sean Balance going over in the corner after great work by Stephen Boyle. Young McConnell now making his way over with the kicking tee to Hall. Probably offering some advice in the wind too. Timmy Hall surveys the kick. Low into the breeze and just to the right and wide. <laughs> Big turnover here, Moore puts boot to ball. Again, a knock on in the rook from Lansdowne, but the referee doesn't blow it. Lanzo still have it, they move it to the open side. Kick is put through in behind. And a referee signal the penalty for a tackle off the ball. Hogan with the strike. And it's on target. A good repost from Lansdowne. Gets their first point of the game on the board and have reduced Wesley's lead to five. Eight three here after 22 minutes. Again, back to Fitz. Boyd, he's gonna have trouble dealing with this one. Braithwaite gathers, plays Boyd, great pass. Good line by Boyd. Good ball placement too. Wesley hammering it down, oh, it's a great offload. Braithwaite puts his boot to ball, he's taken out. Surely that's a penalty. Lansdowne can feel very lucky there. Braithwaite put boot to ball, ran around the outside, but was tripped. Possibly a penalty in my eyes. But we'll restart with a line out. Dan Hall at two. Boydie and Boydie at the tail. And we take a stoppage for some 
running repairs. To the land zone nine, I believe. Lens for finding themselves in a bit of a hole in South Africa, 28-23, for those not watching. It's been a great day of rugby here in Old Wesley. I'm now in my third game of the day. One loss and one win so far. So can the thirds tip the balance for the club? All at two. Back to the tail, free kick to Lansdowne. Dummy throw, double cock by Telford. Referee not happy. It's only a free kick. So Lansdowne sending it long to Gary Owen. O'Leary underneath it, secures it. Tommy Emo at the base, plays Dan Hall. Wesley now bring it forward. Emo again, picks and goes. Carney's in over it. O'Leary, oh, Wesley with advantage. He's not happy. Boyd could be facing a card here. It's just what colour will it be? Yellow card for, for Boydie. Lansdowne go to the front. Hint of a forward pass about that one, but the referee says play on. Ball spurts out the side. But it's a penalty. Wesley not releasing against Eric Parfrey. Parfrey's had a good game so far. His lineouts have been exceptional. Interesting to see what Lanza do now with the Wesley 10 in the bin. Ball's given to Fitz the 10 and told to go to the corner. With the second row in playing scrum half. Goes to the tail. It's a knock on. Surely it's a knock on. No, referee says play on. Even all the Lansdowne players stopped like it was a knock on. Good inside ball. Good inside ball there to Alex McAvoy. The Lansdowne back row with a lot of work to do and managed to get his way over the line. Fits in the pocket. Blocked down by Tommy Emo. Oh, that's mishandled completely. But this might have a positive outcome, yes. Telford going for the corner. Telford is in. Telford into the corner for a try. Some protesting with the Lansdowne players, but the referee does award it. We come back for the free kick. Connor Boyd takes it on. O'Leary to balance to Tommy Emo. Tommy Emo, the bowling ball is still going. Picked up by balance. Referee not happy. Pulling some people back. Emo putting the shoe back on, he lost. He's pulling in. Some Lansdowne players here for a chat. 
I think Kelly may have said something into his ear. Could be a Wesley penalty here. And uh, the touch judge is giving the signal that it's okay for Jamie Boyd to come back. That's going to be a Wesley penalty. Sam Moore is indicating we should take a shot at the posts. No questions about that, right over the middle. Tim Hall extends Wesley's lead here. Moore steps the first would-be tackler, gets around. Oh, fair clean, referee says, but Wesley maintained ball. Boyd comes in this time to make sure nobody comes in. Tim Hall plays the out pass. Wesley still have Emo to Hall. Sorry, Hall to Emo. Boyd caught in possession. Wesley just a little bit slow and lateral. They need somebody to inject a bit of pace to the line here. Carney picks and goes. He's on his knees. He must be released. Sam Moore now picking and going with Dan Hall. Ball is there. Hall tries to take the gap himself. Good ball placement. Penalty. Things getting a little bit hot here. Boiler at the tail again. Wesley looking to set up a rear mall here. Lansdowne trying to sack it. Was it legal? No, it was not. That's a couple of penalties in the red zone now. Referee's going to have to have a chat with Lansdowne. There may be a card coming here. The hooker, McAvoy, gets shown a yellow. Sorry, Rory O'Donnell at hooker. Apologies. Apologies to McAvoy. O'Donnell with the yellow for Lansdowne. McAvoy takes over the line of throwing duties. And Parfrey says, thank you very much. I'll have that. Great steal from in front. Moore looks to go down the blind side himself. Wesley here playing with advantage. They have a free play. And again, referee maybe. He's walking in with intent. We could have a second yellow card here. He's really running out of patience with Lansdowne. McAvoy being given a talking to. McAvoy now with the yellow card. I said he got the yellow card incorrectly two minutes ago, but the referee helps me out and gives him the yellow card now. So the Lansdowne Packer now down to six with their backup line out thrower and main line out thrower in the bin. O'Leary has it at the base. Boyd's waiting. Plays the inside ball to Tommy Emo. The old Zim. Carney picks and goes down the blind side. Good ball placement. This time it's Parfrey picking. From the side by Lansdowne, surely. O'Leary does get it out. Wesley here again playing with advantage. Carney again picking and going. Again, the referee may be forced to go to his pocket for the third time here. Another lands an infringement in the red zone. I don't think he will. No referee gives three yellow cards in a row. I need them to be this 
Oh, <laughs> 